I'm back. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends mobile video. I'm so sorry I've been gone for over a week now. I've just been so busy with work and other duties, but I'm back now, and I promise you I'm going to be uploading at least a few videos per week just for you guys. Now, today, boys, I'm so excited. I have some brand new, huge global version Apex mobile leaks for you guys. Trust me, you do not want to miss this information. They look absolutely insane. So I'm just going to cut straight into it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let's go. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. And today we've, again, got so much to cover. This is mainly going to be a talking video, just going over all of the new updates and all the new leaks that have actually been found within the game files of Apex Legends Mobile. Basically, there is an Indian Discord server, which I'm going to tag in the description below. Basically, they have uh, data mined some of the info of the, um, of the Apex Legends Mobile beta, and it shows a lot more than what we thought and a lot more good things. So we're going to go into those today. So first... First, before we actually get into those, if you guys didn't know, Respawn, the developers of Apex Legends Mobile, recently tweeted out this, where saying in a few weeks, Apex Legends Mobile's closed beta test will roll out to five more countries. If you're in Indonesia, Peru, Colombia, Egypt, or Lebanon, head to your local Google Play Store page to sign up now. So I'm gonna tag that Twitter link in the description. So if you're from any of those new countries, you're going to be able to be uh, a part of the next closed beta. And bear in mind, guys, this is another closed beta. It's probably going to be the same one that we had in India and the Philippines. So don't get your hopes up. I mean, fingers crossed, again, with, with what else I have to mention in this video, we might get some more improved gameplay in the next closed beta okay so next a friend of mine murder blast has a, a apex legends mobile news and updates twitter link and it shows here that some of the indian players were said to be device incompatible before on the indian and philippines beta have received install options now so it looks like respawn and tencent are making more devices to be able to support apex legends mobile so there's going to be a lot more supported devices you're going to be able to play on it originally I think you needed like a, an Android Snapdragon 870 or above, which was very, very high. Like one of the new Red Magic phones that I have, it's very high. So it looks like they're making the graphics and the support for more low-end devices, which is really, really good. And as you can see from this clip right, ha right here as well, obviously there was a notice in the closed beta that says, sorry, the current test only supports limited devices and your device is currently out of the coverage scope. We recommend you to upgrade your mobile device to experience the game we will support more device models in the near future thank you for participating in this test so that was a notice that was in the last closed philippines beta that's finished now um so yeah they are going to be bringing out more low to medium end devices so do me a favor right now go in the comments and type out your device right now what specs you have for your device and i'll try and reply to every single one of them and, and tell you if it's going to be playable and you're going to be able to install apex legends mobile on your device in the next beta in a few weeks time okay boys now let's get on to the juicy stuff okay again this is pretty this is not confirmed but the some of the indian players have been data mining some of the files and a lot of stuff that i've been asking in the game it looks like they are already in the game files, but the developers haven't actually put them into the game yet. So again, it doesn't look like... I, I don't think these are going to be in the next closed beta in a few weeks, so don't get your hopes up for that. But I'm going to show you some of the leaks right now. So we're starting off with the biggest ask that we've all been asking for is graphic quality options and frame rate settings. So from this image here, you can see that in these settings, there is a new tab on the right hand side called display settings. It it's showing graphics quality and frame rate settings and they go all the way from smooth to ultra HD and frame rate from low to extreme. And bearing in mind, guys, these are the same sort of settings that Call of Duty Mobile has. And remember, Call of Duty Mobile has 120 FPS gameplay now. So it looks like with extreme frame rate settings in Apex Legends Mobile, Respawn are going to be bringing us 120 FPS max frame rates, which is insane. It's going to make the game look so good, so crispy. 
and I just can't wait. That's that's really exciting news. But again, this isn't confirmed for the next closed beta. So it, it, I don't know if it's going to be in that one. Hopefully it is, fingers crossed. So they've also got on here graphic style post effect where you can change it to, uh, I believe, I can't really see what the settings are there. I can see soft uh med and games I, I i'm presuming those are sort of bloom effects and you know when like the sun is too bright you can change the sort of sun uh coverage and stuff like that to make it a bit less bright um so i believe those are the post effects and then one interesting thing i have right here guys which i don't know if this is confirmed yet either but the little option right there that says non-standard screen ui adjustment does that mean field of view I don't know if that does you know the guys that the closed betas were capped at 90 field of view where apex legends on pc goes from 90 to 110 respawn really need to make it more than just 90 because the camera feels so close up by field of view i mean the camera feels very close up so you can't see like your full angles or your full left and right or up and down so if that means FOV, that's great because there's an actual bar. I, again, it, show, it shows zero on there, so I don't know if the moving that scroll all the way to the end makes it just 90 and there's a 90 cap, but hopefully it is not. But excited, guys. Again, not confirmed in the next closed beta, but we're definitely going to be getting graphic options and high frame rates in the global release towards the end of the year. Okay, and another exciting thing, guys. So Apex Legends is very famous for, you know, when you knock an enemy, you know, when you just absolutely body them and you want to use a finisher on them. Well, guys finishers are confirmed for global release from this image right here you can see in the data files there's a little cursor and a little sort of uh, image on the screen that shows that you can finish someone now so again these weren't in the closed betas we were all pretty annoyed by this because we didn't know whether the finishers were actually going to be in the game so a finisher guys like i said is when you knock an enemy you can go up to them and you can press a finisher and it does some cool sort of finisher where you know like it's like a slow-mo like video sort of file where you like stab them in the back or do some sort of really cool finisher on them like Mortal Kombat or something like that so it looks like from this image finishers are confirmed in the game because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that and I've been asking about that as well and uh, it looks like that's true so excited for that and it's going to be cool to see what kind of finishers we can add because on Apex Legends PC you get battle passes and skins and stuff like that you can actually unlock new finishers so there's going to be multiple different finishers for multiple different characters and are you ready for the next leak? Yes. I already knew this anyway, but as you can see right here, more characters confirmed. So in the beta, we only had Bloodhound, Lifeline, Bangalore, Gibraltar, Rafe, Caustic, and Octane, I believe, and Watson. So it looks like they have confirmed three new characters, Crypto, Revenant, and Pathfinder. I'm presuming these um, these characters weren't in the closed beta just because of the extra sort of passive skills they have, like Pathfinder. Obviously, you know he's got a grapple that you can grapple onto things and swing around, so it, it, maybe they haven't gotten that far in development yet of making that possible for Pathfinder. Obviously, Revenant, you've got his ultimate ability, which is his little portal that you can use to, you know, make yourself invincible. Um, maybe they haven't, you know, configured that around in the settings yet. And then obviously you've got Crypto and his little drone, which they may have not made compatible yet in the development. So more characters confirmed and those leaks are, are pretty insane if you ask me so again guys that's that's all the leaks i've got to show you today um i'm going to be giving you more updates and everything like that so all you have to do to stay up to date with all of these updates is join all of my socials in the uh in the description and the comments my discord server my twitter go follow my twitter and you'll find all of these updates without having to wait for you know me to make a video for you guys so i'm super excited i i wanted most of these changes in apex legends mobile and it looks like they are coming so there's probably going to be more changes coming over the next few months but the only thing we have to look forward to now is the apex legends next beta which is available again in more countries such as indonesia peru colombia egypt lebanon um there's probably going to be a few more countries coming out soon as well but going back to the timeline guys um it makes uh, me think that the closed beta is going to be coming in a few weeks which would make it sort of middle to end of june uh, july sorry so middle to end of july once once that beta is finished, 
Usually the betas last for one to two weeks. Then the soft launch should come out around the end of August, beginning of September, where we can make an account we can have all of our data saved because the closed beta, obviously all of your data gets wiped as soon as it gets closed. So with the soft launch, we can have all of our data saved, ready for the global release, and you guys can really start grinding the leaderboards and start collecting all of the cool stuff in the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I've been, you know, ranting in this video and it's just been a, a sort of talking video, but I had to show you some of these new leaks and they look absolutely incredible. So what I want you guys to do now is go into the comments, Type your phone device and tell me what phone you're rocking. Tell me what you think about these leaks as well. And obviously, just support your boy. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, and I promise you I'm going to be uploading more content as well. So give me some ideas on some new videos to upload as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm super excited, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Let's go!